the Pool Cleaner by Pool Vernugan is the most reliable cleaner you can get on the market today. And you can either buy the two or four wheel model if you're buying a suction side cleaner. Basically the rule of thumb is the pool size will dictate which cleaner you're going to get. So before you order the Pool Cleaner by Pool Vernugan, you want to measure your pool. Let's say you're hooking up here at the skimmer here. Then measure it. the furthest point of the pool would be over here in the shallow end. And see if you're going to have enough hoses with the two wheel or the four wheel model. Okay, this is the two-wheel two -wheel model here, and it comes with ten hoses. Nine hoses plus one lead hose with the floats on it. And hooking up the cleaner is very easy. It has the skimmer insert. It also has the side port locking gate. You'll hook up to the side of your pool. And the cleaner is already all intact and built. It comes already constructed as one unit, so no assembly is required. The first hose that goes on the cleaner is called the lead hose and it's got two floats here. Leave them right where they're at and it's got a special cone. So when you put it on here you want to push firmly so that it goes all the way down. That way it won't pop off in the pool. We'll connect the other hoses to that hose. You want to make sure when you put them on you push them all the way snug. And so the hose should look something like this when you're connecting them. That way they won't fall off in the pool. What you're going to do is connect all the hoses and we're going to stretch it across. And we're going to hook it up to the furthest point in the pool. See if I have enough hoses cleaner should stick out one or two hose lengths from the furthest point in your pool. This one's pretty close, pretty borderline. You can almost go with a four wheel model at this particular pool. Stretching it out and getting the measurement, we want to submerge the pool cleaner. You want to just kind of feed the hose in to get all the air bubbles out of it. Take the skimmer lid off and we'll pull out the skimmer basket. The pool may or may not have a diverter in here, a flow valve diverter. And if you have a two hole skimmer, the cleaner will go into the back hole. If you have a one hole skimmer, one thing you have to note is that sometimes a one hole skimmer, there's actually the verter valve that's necessary for it to work. But a one hole skimmer, sometimes the um, skimmer and main drain are connected at, at one pipe and there's a diverter valve that you're supposed to use to divert flow. So if you hook it up to your one hole skimmer and you notice that you're having trouble with suction, I'll show you the part you're going to need. Turn this open and shut to make the adjustment on the suction. You're using the skimmer attachment. Using the side port, you would just use your side port valve. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stick this in here. You want to feed the hose through the skimmer over the weir gate and into here, and we'll attach the cleaner. You want to push firmly so it stays in. You want to pull the cleaner to the side of the pool. You want to look at the right tire, that's the one that doesn't rotate. You want to get the hump and use the hose as your guide. And you want to count for 60 seconds how many times that hump passes that hose. It'll give you your, real, your wheel RPMs. And you want the cleaner to be within 11 to 13 RPMs. RPMs are too low, the cleaner won't go all, get full coverage of the pool. It may not get up the hump from the deep end to the shallow end. That's why the RPMs are critical. If you have too many RPMs, the cleaner may come out of the pool and breach the surface. The RPMs, the cleaner may actually... And so again, with the skimmer attachment, you'll just adjust it down or up, depending on what you need. That'll give you the correct RPMs for the cleaner to work properly. If you have a side port hookup, you would just use the side port valve to adjust the RPMs within the 11 and 13 RPM range. Connected to your side port, you would simply thread that in your side port and then you would lock it onto the hose right here with this clip. That'll keep it from popping out of the pool when it turns off. And if you just change the rubber tires when they get to the wear line, I can almost guarantee that you're going to have at least four years of good use out of the pool cleaner without any problems. And the main thing with these cleaners is you have to change the tires when the wear line gets down. You can see here, there's the wear lines here and over here. I'll show you a new tire set so you can get an idea of where the wear line is. If you change these tires on a regular basis, you'll have no problems with the cleaner. Here's a brand new set of tires. I'll show you the wear marks to get an idea of where, what you're looking for. And you can see right here, there's the wear marks here, these little dashes. So when the rubber gets worn down below those dashes, you'll see some more over here also. Then you go ahead and change the tires to prevent any kind of problems with the cleaner. And just note that these super hump tires go in the front. If you have a four-wheel model, and they have separate special tires without the hump for the back. And for the two-wheel model, the super hump tire comes standard on the cleaner.
You may find your cleaner not moving in your pool at all when the system is running and what could cause that is a suction leak by the equipment. And if there's any kind of air getting into the pool equipment, your pool will not be able to pull the water the extra 30 feet or so to move the cleaner. So a good way to tell if you have a suction leak is just to disconnect the cleaner from the pool and see if the pump fills up with water and runs sufficiently. And if you plug the cleaner back in and you lose your suction again, and you know you probably have a suction leak by the equipment. And I detail this in other videos, but also make sure you don't have a suction leak either at the O-ring here in the lid, or here at the discharge or intake, or at the unions. That will also cause a problem with the cleaner not working. As air gets into the system, you won't be able to pull the water the extra 30 feet to get the cleaner moving. And make sure that you don't have a leak also in your Jandy valve, which is, which is common too with the over here in the faceplate, and I have videos covering all these suction leak problems on my channel. Make sure when you turn on your equipment with the cleaner hooked up that the water fills up the pump completely like this. Why you'll find the cleaner kind of coiled with the hoses, and usually the swivel is jammed up with debris. Something will get stuck in there and stop it from swiveling. So if you find that your cleaner is not moving but in one spot, kind of twisting the hose, then check the swivel, make sure it spins freely. Occasionally the debris will get stuck in here. You'll just take the cleaner out and you can pull it out from the front. And if you could, you can also push it through while the cleaner is running. I'll show you that right now. So if the cleaner is not running and there's debris stuck, and you can just grab it, turn over the cleaner like this. You can stick your hand here and kind of just push the veins and kind of free anything in there. That'll get everything moving again usually. If you have to take it apart, I have a video that refers to getting something jammed out. You'll just have to take the top off the cleaner. And you can refer to that video if you can't get the debris out from the bottom. As the cleaner starts to get old, you want to also check the wheels and make sure the teeth aren't stripped. You just get a 4mm Allen wrench and you can loosen up the wheel here like this. So you just loosen up this bolt holding on the wheel and you can pull it right off. And it's really easy to do, it just comes right out. You just take the wheel, you turn it over and you inspect it. And look at the teeth and make sure they're all still intact. As the unit gets old, sometimes the teeth start to get stripped out by this drive shaft here. Also check the drive shaft for any kind of wear. If that happens, the cleaner won't move as well and you have to replace that. I have a video showing how to replace the bottom of the cleaner and you can refer to that to change out the drive shaft. Easy to get back on, you just put the bolt you kind of line up the bolt here and make sure the wheels over the drive shaft should drop down and you can tighten it up. And when you go to tighten it, make sure you don't overdo it. Once it stops, you're done. There you go. Here's a wheel that has some wear on the inside of the teeth. You can see it right here kind of worn down there and the left part of the cleaner the drive shaft will use the bottom plastic teeth and then the other side of the cleaner the right side uses the top so you may be able to rotate the tires to prevent that from happening if you can't get the tire right away go ahead and just rotate them change the left with the right and that may solve the problem so check your pump basket to make sure it's not full of debris if that's clogged up the cleaner won't be moving and also make sure your filter's not excessively dirty. If your filter's really dirty, the pool cleaner won't move in your pool efficiently. So make sure your filter is cleaned on a regular basis. Another problem you may have with your cleaner is you may break these veins off if you handle it incorrectly when you remove it from your pool during use. So be careful that when you take it out, to carefully store it somewhere where it's not going to be broken. pool they sell the tire without the hump you can also just cut the uh, hump off your pool if you buy a new cleaner you don't have to invest in tires but just cut the hump off with a razor blade if it's causing problems getting up the wall or moving in the vinyl pool and so the super hump will keep you from getting stuck on any kind of main drain anti-vortex they also sell a super super hump tire if you have anti-vortex drain that's really sticking out that'll keep the cleaner from getting stuck on there.